As previously mentioned, I intended to disassemble one of the F-30 thrust arm bushings, also known as hydro bearings, and I've done just that. So let's take a look at what's on the workbench. This is one of the thrust arm bushings that was removed from the vehicle, still in one piece. And these items are what make up that. So uh, let's start with these, what it looked like clamshell covers. They're made out of nylon and they go on the outside of the core of the bushing and then this core with the bushing is pressed into the case and filled with hydraulic fluid. The hydraulic fluid again is red when new and it turns a, a really dark almost black as the uh, core of this bushing uh, wears over time. Now what's really interesting is if you look at the construction of this and again there is an orientation as to how these go in the vehicle how they're mounted in the thrust arm itself and if you recall that dash mark or that slot if you will it, uh, it points to the rotor or the spindle rather kind of up the length of the thrust arm so if you rotate the core in this manner you can see that in the center there's this rubber isolator this is not all made out of the same material some of it's kind of a hardened plastic some of its rubber but uh, this right here in the middle that's rubber and what is to the left and to the right is like a hardened plastic so as you apply the brakes there's a tremendous amount of force and energy that is traveling through the thrust arm into the bushing and the bushing actually and I can't do this with one hand but it's going to it's going to flex don't roll stay still it's going to flex in that direction towards the workbench so that that rubber in the center prevents this from compressing and again over time the rubber just wears out it's it's actually kind of soft um, I'm sure if I were able to, uh, to take a new one apart, this rubber would be much firmer, almost rock hard. So, um, if you've ever wondered what the center of a thrust arm bushing looks like, that's it. I have two others here, just for reference. Uh, these are uh, Mercedes-Benz. This is a C-Class thrust arm bushing uh, yet to be installed. And this is an E-Class thrust arm bushing which uh, came out of a vehicle that I worked on a couple of years ago. It is much heavier than uh, the one that came out of the F30. Obviously different class of vehicle but this is very much what you would find in uh, a 5 series BMW. So you know, F10, F90, F10, E60, E39, you name it. It's going to have the larger heavier bushing like this. So, uh, and again, you can see there's a difference. I hope it shows up on camera here, but the E-Class bushing is much bigger than the C-Class. So that's logical, that makes sense. Nevertheless, I just wanna show those for reference. Uh, this is interesting to me to see how the, uh, the core of the bushing is constructed. I wasn't sure how it flexed, how it moved, how it really operates or how it resists force. Now we know. I hope this is helpful.